so when I'm working with an athlete, like I typically structure, uh, if I'm running intensity sprints, I structure that before strength work. If I'm doing any tempo or volume, I do it after. Yep. Where would you put, I mean, would that how you, I mean, how would you structure, uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know how deep you can go on this, but like day to day, week to week, and then like month to month across the cycle, like what, what would that increase in intensity and sort of, uh, 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 um, Cons uh, shit, what do I want to say? Uh, repetition be in like in in programming those sprints or yeah, yeah, for sure. movement. I don't know. Like the, my another question was like, do you ever sub like bike? You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You okay. So so let's start with this. What do you what what do you describe as uh, an intensity sprint? What does that mean to you? Just so I so we're talking uh, the same for language. me it would typically be under 60 yards it would be 92 or i guess 90 92 percent you yep. know which is just measure but or higher yep. and it would be four to six reps around um yep. if i could i would base it on tenths of a second so as soon as those guys drop off two tenths i'd be like you're done yeah um and then rest as needed you know yep. which yep. typically means I have to pump the brakes on these kids because sure. they're ready to go at like 30 seconds. Yes. Yeah. Well, so they're trying to make it conditioning, right? Yeah. They're, they're seeking fatigue versus right. seeking performance. Right. So yes. I, okay. You're absolutely right. Like if you're going to do speed for speed's sake, it's got to yes. come first, right? It's the most neurologically demanding. It's got to come first. Um, as far as volume goes, I, I think that was kind of a question that you'd kind of put in there. I'm yeah. a big believer of quality versus quantity, right? I'd rather have five or six really good tens than like 20 really sloppy ones. Uh, so I'm, I'm a big believer. Like I, I can't imagine in a lot of cases where we're over, especially if I'm doing like shorter stuff, like we don't have the capacity to do like a 60, right? Um, it, in a perfect world, we could maybe run like a couple 20s. So in that case, yeah. we're probably not going to get over 100 to 150 yeah. total meters. Yeah, exactly. is, it, is it possible to mute? Uh, well, usually we keep them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Mike, you can, you can mute her. I'm working on that. Okay. Okay. I don't. I'm obviously not able to do this. <laughs> not, I'm not this skilled. No worries. I just get a lot of audio. Yes. I thought I could pull it off. Where's Lance? Right? Come on, Lance. <laughs> okay. So coming back to that, if you're going to hit, yeah. Like I'm gonna do maybe 100 to 150 uh, total meters in a linear day. Like, unless unless I have a space that can allow me to open it up and maybe run a couple like 30s or 40s where we can do some more top end type stuff, we just don't have the space to do that. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, again, for me, it's quality over quantity. I'd rather have, you know, five to six really good tens or two to three really good 20s and shut it down. And not worry about just chasing volume. Cause I think if you do that, you know, things just never go the way that you want. Right. Right. So, and I love, I love your idea of in a perfect world, if you can time it and do a drop off, that's even better. Um, yeah. It's hard though. So, and, and keep in mind too, I always try and think of, okay, what is my lens? My lens are basketball and soccer players for the most part. So those guys, I can get a lot of uh, speed benefits from the weight room as well, yep. right? So versus a, a football guy, you know, they're a little bit more tapped out on what they can get out of the weight room. Um, so I may do a little bit more pure speed work with them. Um, so that kind of covers that. On the back end, as far as like, like volume goes, like I tend to mix up the days. Um, if I'm, if I'm trying to get true repeat sprint ability, um, I don't just think of it as 
repeat sprintability, I think of it as repeated performance endurance, if that makes sense. So for a basketball player, it could be repeat accelerations. It could be repeated jumping. So the, the setup is going to be largely similar there, right? Where I'll start with like a, like a five on kind of 90 off fullish rest and then start cutting into that as the off season goes on. Um, I will say one thing that I'm a big believer in, I don't do a ton of uh, like traditional just body weight sprints. A lot of times if I'm going to do something, I'm going to put them in more of an accelerative position um, such as a sled sprint or a prowler push, something like that. Even if the load is, is minimal, the last thing I want somebody to do, and I've never had it happen, thank goodness, but the last thing I want somebody to do is like get a little bit too upright and pull a hammy when yeah. they're working with me. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. um, I like even just a little bit of forward body lean, and I think that's going to sure. work a little bit better for you. 